up for sale 1969 chevy el camino i'm gonna walk around it tell you about it fire it up and then drive it if you do enjoy the video please leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this thank you like i said 69 el camino finished in yellow with black interior 350 automatic power steering power brakes and as always you know go around it tell you what i know about it we'll fire it up and then we'll drive it so we'll start her right in the front section here first off uh, the El Camino, without a doubt, has been fully restored. Um, you see the excuse me, chrome bumper here. Really, really nice condition. Probably just, you know, a couple of marks from toweling. But other than that, that looks really nice. Uh, ear trim in the front, also in very nice condition. Uh, but, you know, you see a couple little marks in the front here, of course. It's the front of the car. That, that happens. Um the quality of the paint though excellent fitment of the hood awesome you see my handprints from closing it but other than that uh, the body straight but anyway uh, let me show you more more of the hood here nice fitment there and uh, yeah let's go ahead open And left. 350, power steering, power brakes. Now let me let me find out if they are they are disc. Yeah, so it's power disc. Very nicely finished engine compartment that you see there. You see the quality of the finish there, the firewall all the way around, even like here and down there. That's very nicely painted. Uh, it also has headers on it. Underhood painted, you know, same quality as the rest. Even like, like the back is yellow there that you see. So, all right, we'll carry on down this side of the car. Chrome rallies with the correct hubcap. I see just a couple blemishes right in the corner of the door, a few touch ups. I don't know what he's doing. All the glass is in excellent condition. Same thing goes for like window moldings, trim like that. This guy. of the car and I love the way they finished in here that's very nicely done oh it's getting blurry there you go <clears throat> excuse me <coughs> a few marks on this door edge there common of course pop it open uh, you see the weather stripping has been redone of course Same thing goes for the interior, all redone. Dude, north, uh, excuse me, door panels, very nice, nice. All nice. Um, really nicely finished, and attention to detail in the door jam that you see. Your bench seat, factory style, very nice condition. You know, a couple marks on the outside there, but the rest, awesome, with seat belts. And it even has your factory like over shoulder strap. Sorry, I wasn't looking at the camera. Tuck back here in case you want to use it. Carpet, of course, redone with the rest of the interior, so that's new. A little smaller steering wheel. Dash pad's nice, no cracks on it. Paint here, very nice. I know that they painted this yellow. I think it would normally be black. I don't mind it. Headliner, awesome. Sail panels, awesome. Quality of the paint there, okay. Let's look at that again. I'm not saying okay quality, but nice, 
attention to detail there. This is all very presentable. Jack, the spare tire back there. I'll show you more on that side. That That's a nice uh, attention to detail finish thing I, I notice on this. Your back window there with the window trim. Awesome. Um, your bed, is it a car? Is it a pickup? Let me know in the comments. Very nicely painted all the way around. The bed is rock solid again. Look at that. It's kind of got a, a textured bed liner finish to it. Same thing there. Let me show you this side. Okay. Back to the car here. I just see right here just a few bubbles on this line right there. And then there's a couple marks right on top of this lip. A couple marks there. One and a touch-up right there. I don't know if you can see that in the camera though, but I'm, I think you see it right there. We're zoomed in, right? There we go. And again, for whatever reason, just in this corner, probably from the tire kicking up, there's just a little bit of bubbling. There's a chip that's been touched up. A few other little miscellaneous marks. And then just a little bubbling right in that corner there. Uh, it has dual exhaust on it. Sounds nice. Uh, it, it's just like the 67 Cutlass I had. And the fact that all the lights work, all the gauges work, the horn works, the wipers work, the radio works, stuff like that. Uh, so ready to go kind of a thing. It doesn't require any little attention. You see there how nice that trim is all the way down there. You know, of course, on this one, a little bit of marking from opening and closing probably, you know, leaning on it back bumper nicer than the front bumper and the front bumper I thought was pretty nice yeah same thing goes for this trim there so it's, and the reverse lights work they don't work very often on any cars that I've noticed in addition I did not do this in the video I found a couple of pictures of the car it looks like that was totally taken apart right there but when it was painted looks like it's on a rotisserie actually as you see there uh here we go we got the manual and the warranty plan with your little protecto plate that's not together but included with it sold new in scottsdale arizona O'Reilly Motor Company. So, there you go. Other receipts, stuff like that. Some random, you know, registrations. Couple chips. Super solid. I mean, like, even... Like, this stuff has been replaced on both sides. All these little guys have been replaced that you've seen there. The little straps over there have been replaced. Same thing here. No rust bubbles, but just like some chipped paint right there on that line. And really, if you think about it, if you wanted to fix that from that line down, I have a can of uh, paint that's included, the, the yellow type of paint that they used. A few little like miscellaneous marks right there. And you see here, a couple little more marking just above the wheel well. I'll show you this section going back. Right in front of here though, a little bit more that you see there. A couple little guys in this door. Fit there the door going up though, very nice. It's another thing I noticed, a lot of the fitment, or pretty much all the fitment going all the way around. Uh, I would say on the excellent side, especially with uh, the finish uh, and like door jams, stuff like that, especially in the engine compartment, that was really nicely done.
It will be up for sale later today on my website, nextgenclassiccars.com and eBay. Both links will be in the description of this video. If you want to check it out, let us know. Spare. And again, you see the, the other side of the jack. Your other strap here. How nice that is back there. Nice, really nice attention to detail. <sighs> my hands are getting cold. Again, you see like weather stripping, all that has been redone. Your fitment to the front of the door, super nice. And I see two mark, one mark, a little bubble and a little crack in the paint. A couple other marks right there. Will be up for sale later today and we are getting to that point where we're gonna fire it up 